one of the most popular Christmas melody ever. So magical and so familiar. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer. But there is a really sad story behind it. For decades, many people around the world probably thought it was written in US or Canada, but actually it was written in Ukraine by Ukrainian composer Mykola Leontovich. <laughs> this song has even deeper roots in Ukrainian culture, because it's based on Ukrainian pre-Christian folk song. Ironically, the song first arrived in US in 1922 only because it's supposed to popularize Ukraine culture worldwide. That was the plan, because at the time Ukraine was in the middle of war for independence with Soviet Russia. And Ukraine needed support from other countries. But instead Ukraine lost that fight and was occupied. Ukrainians suffered from Holodomor and repressions including composer Leontovich, who was killed by KGB. And Carol of the Bells became popular with lyrics in English. So, basically, our nation was invisible to the world, as well as our cultural heritage. I guess even now not everybody knows that Carol of the Bells is actually Ukrainian song Shedrick. When we're talking about folk song on which Shedrick was based, it's not exactly the Christmas song. It's one of the songs traditionally performed during New Year's Eve. It's about a little swallow that flew and started to sing. It's not about winter time, it's about spring, referring to pre-Christian times when New Year was celebrated at spring. So it's one of the oldest examples of Ukrainian folklore, and it's probably thousands of years old. So it was a very simple melody based on four major sounds. Scholars say that the musical forms of such a structure could already exist 12,000 years ago in the Mesolithic era. Mykola Leontovich became famous because he adapted Ukrainian folk songs for classical instruments and choir performance. Most songs, including Shedrick, he knew from his childhood in Podilia region, central Ukraine. So, he took the four-note archaic melody as a basis, but repeated it many times in a row. In each repetition, he added new music scales and interesting accents. Lontovich also added a new part to the melody, this bridge. He created performance in the tradition of Ukrainian polyphonic singing and some other European choir traditions. Mykola Lontovich was a perfectionist and he worked on the melody for almost 20 years. And on and on he wasn't satisfied with his results. The song was first performed in 1916 in Kyiv. So Shedrick is 100% Ukrainian cultural heritage. But for decades its Ukrainian origins were forgotten or ignored. And now I will tell you why it's so. The song became popular abroad, and I'm talking about as Shedrick, because there was no Carol of the Bells version for another like 15 years. And it happened only because this song, among others, supposed to popularize Ukrainian culture worldwide. At the time, Ukraine just recently declared independence and was in the middle of the war for independence, mainly with Soviet Russia. But really, it was even more sides, and it's I'm just simplifying because Soviets eventually will win. So, the new Ukrainian state needed recognition and support from other countries. 
and the Ukrainian government and its leader, Simon Petlura, decided to promote Ukrainian culture abroad. They organized the concert tour of Ukrainian Republic Capella under leadership of Alexander Koshitz. It was a form of cultural diplomacy and it was a success. Song Shedrick, among other songs, were introduced in 45 main cities of Europe, North and South Americas. In the US it was premiered in 1922 at Carnegie Hall, New York City. Newspapers all over the world acclaimed Koshit's Ukrainian Republic Capella. So why after that everybody just forget about it? The same year, 1922, independent Ukraine no longer existed. It was occupied by Soviet Russia. And because of cultural policy for Ukrainians in the USSR, many names, cultural items and phenomena were kind of cancelled, but in a more violent way that we understand it nowadays. Many people were actually executed by regime inside the country or even by its agent abroad. That is what happened with leader of Ukrainian state Simon Petlura, who promotes Ukrainian culture. He was killed by Soviet secret police in Paris in 1926. Most members of Ukrainian Republic Capella couldn't come back to Ukraine, afraid of political persecution. And composer Mykola Leontovich was actually persecuted and eventually shot dead by men from Soviet secret police. The killer pretended he was looking for a place to sleep, and Leontovich led him in his father's house. It happened in 1921. Composer couldn't make it even till US premiere of Shedrick in 1922. He was already dead at that moment. So, if you don't know much about Ukraine or its culture or maybe never heard of it until 2022, there could be a bunch of reasons why it's so, but the major reason is Russian destructive policy. The story of Shedrick is just a one tiny example of what happened with Ukraine, our culture, our language and people. Several millions of Ukrainians suffered from Holodomor and repressions, including that we call the executed Renaissance, when hundreds of writers, poets, musicians and other Ukrainian artists were executed. bring us to an even more cruel side of that brutal reality. Ukrainians ourselves didn't know much about all that executed authors and artists until we had restored our independence in 1991. But let's go back to the Shedrick story where we left it. The English lyrics version of the song was published in the US in 1936 and even further it became popular. At first it was a knowledge that music belongs to Leontovich, but after a while his authorship was forgotten. At the same time, in the Soviet Ukraine, composer Leontovich was obviously forbidden and also forgotten. And nobody in Ukraine could possibly know that the song is so popular in the West and all around the world. Because of the Iron Curtain. Isolation from the West world. So I remember as a kid in the early 200s, I watched Die Hard 2 with my dad. He told me that the melody on the background is actually Ukrainian. And I just couldn't understand like how it's possible. And only for the last 10 or 15 years the story of this song and composer Lentovich became common knowledge and Shedrick became more popular in Ukraine than it ever was. And this year there was 100 years anniversary concert in Carnegie Hall, where the first performance took place in 1922. As for me, it's very symbolic in the current circumstances. 
Ukrainians are getting back our culture, our heritage, and as well, we get back our territory, our freedom, and our peaceful life. So, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please subscribe to this channel and put a thumb up under this video and write a comment. It's really important.